What's going on, buddy? Nick and John, back again now that Nick is back from vacation. And I was also back from vacation. Yeah, you were gone for... I was gone for ten days. You were gone for two and a half weeks. I miss it already. Yes, you do. I can't wait to move. So, today we're actually doing a little bit something different. We are not trying beers today. I know. It's weird. It really is. Today we're actually going to be doing our little twist. We got, let's see here, four, eight. Should be 11. That's yeah, 11. Yes. 11 different flavored sodas. We or stopped at the world's largest candy store in Minnesota. We picked out ones that we thought were going to be A, eh, or B. Oh. Yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, two of these. There's only two I think that I'm going to genuinely enjoy. The rest I am very much apprehensive of. All right, so. To start it off. <laughs> Did you chill these? Are these cold? Yeah, they're at least cold. Okay, good. Yeah. Because <laughs> last time I saw them, they were on a box in your basement. I was like, at least chill them, man. We got WT Hex Soda. Focus. Oh, it's focusing on me. <laughs> <laughs> but Did that work? Bacon. Bacon flavored soda. Bacon. This is America, after all. We are here in well, the land of bacon. Mmm. <laughs> Okay. I just smell my arteries no. just clogged up. <laughs> How many of these do you think we're actually going to finish? That is redder than fucking blood. That's redder than that one beer that we didn't like at the 22 Norseman. Mm -hmm. That was so... <laughs> Hold on. Uh, well, this is something new. This is, this is a different kind of thing, but... Cheers. Cheers. That's not great, but it's <laughs> not bad. Oh, hold on one second, folks. We got a key cat playing with something he's not supposed to play with. Oh god, that has, that has the most nasty aftertaste now that it's been like fermenting in my tongue. Ugh. Like, that's not good, but that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It barely tastes like bacon. I don't taste bacon. <laughs> I don't taste bacon though. Would, would you say you taste bacon? I can taste, like, the bacon fat. I don't know if it has that much of a bacon-esque flavor, it's... but it definitely has, like, the after-effect taste. I guess it kind of makes your tongue feel a little greasy. I, I would yeah. agree with that. But that's, that's surprising. Okay. Next one is... <laughs> John has I did like some. Apparently. Butterscotch. This one is butterscotch beer. It's not alcoholic so don't get mistaken by it. Basically, if you've ever been to Universal, you know the butter beer. This is the non-alcoholic version of it. The version there is alcoholic? Yeah. You can get non-alcoholic and alcoholic over there. Oh, uh, okay. I only heard that there was alcoholic. There's a non-alcoholic version. I didn't know there's a alcoholic version actually. This one actually might not be too bad. This one actually smells pretty decent. I mean, butterscotch is not a crazy thing to add. It's something else that's sweet. Pleasant. Still kind of like, kind of sticks on your tongue a little bit. Yeah, you definitely get that caramelization yeah. kind of feeling. But I like that better. That's actually not bad. Like, I would have one and then stay never again. But that is palpable. I'm almost tempted to try, when I go, when I move down there, go to Universal. I don't go, I might go back down in springtime. Would be nice to go to Universal this time around and actually try a butterbeer for like 
the actual legitimate. Yeah. This one even says, approved by the Ministry of Magical Foods and Drinks. <laughs> so, was it approved? <sighs> now we got Gross Gus's Dinosaur Dung. Let's see it. Focus camera. Focus. I can always try to show you guys the logo too as we're done. I'll do like a lineup of them. But I don't know what I'm expecting here. Yeah, there's no like indication of what this could really be, I don't think. Oh. Oh, chocolate. Chocolate soda. Oh, because it's dung. Chocolate. Of course it is. <laughs> we're dung. smart. They should have been funny and said copper light. For those of you who don't know, copper light is the term for fossilized dung. We're not, and we're not like teachers here, okay? We're teachers of the beers. Then what we're doing is our beers. <laughs> just sniff it and oh. just that is pure <laughs> dung right there. If I've ever smelled it, <laughs> it's like drinking a stout. Not as dark as a stout. Not as dark, but definitely smells like a stout. Well, right. cheers to the shittiest drink. Hey! <laughs> nope. Why do we react the exact same way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's... It tastes like chocolate. Like, I'm not going to argue. I'll give them that. They nailed that one right on Yeah, the it tastes like chocolate, head. but that was not, not delightful. That oh. was, that was not fun. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick little break just to wash out these glasses so we actually keep everything legitimate reactions for you guys so that way nothing air mixes. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Glasses are cleaned. And we have friend. Yep, that is my friend. Mr. Kitty Cat Sarge. Hey, Sarge. Then we have boy? Ricky over here walking around being a little troublemaker like he normally is. Oh, you're no troublemaker, are you? You're no troublemaker. You're not the one who chewed on my phone cord, is it? Yeah, you're... that'd be him. I know. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to say no, no, no. I'm trying to be, you know, silly. For... Oh, oh. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> no. Next up, made by Jones special release, we got sugar cookie soda. And we were out there, folks, washing these out. We each had a couple of rounds of burps, and I tell you, 10 out of 10. I don't recommend this combo. None of the combos. Try again. I'll get a paper towel. Uh, brief intermission. We're back. Okay. <laughs> so, as we can tell, not the easiest cap to get off. So, uh... Oh. It's a twist. I saw the word twist. And I was like, well. And yet you weren't going to stop me. I didn't see it until you held up the cap. To be fair. Alrighty, folks. Lesson learned. Make sure you read uh, tops because that was a twist off. Though usually twist offs are not that stubborn. No, but... <sighs> Either way, we're back. We're here for it. Oh, hi, Gemma. Gem Gems. Got my third kitty here now. <laughs> I have to accept. I have to accept this fate, don't I? Yep. Gemma. Oh, <laughs> there's kitty cat. Careful, she will claw you. I know. Look, it's a cat. Please put it down before you get clawed. I'm not doing the. 
kind of like insurance claims with you. Meow. <laughs> Meow, motherfucker. <laughs> uh. Oh! Oh, fucking YouTube content, I tell you. Well. <laughs> it reminds me of Nuka-Cola. The, the Quantum? Yeah. Yeah. I, if it was a bit more vibrant blue, I would totally agree, but you're right. It does have the same vibes. Yeah. <laughs> I just got pure, pure shakes off of that one. Ugh, that that is really uh, ugh, ugh. no, no, no. That, no. that is one hundred percent sugar. Whew. Yeah, and I even like cane sugar. It's just like bad sugar. <sighs> also, one hundred and sixty calories per bottle. <sighs> What's this one? Since 1869. Uh, so, uh, if you ever want to get your greens in, folks, and you don't like us, like us, and don't like that kind of shit, well, let me tell you about my best friend, Dr. Brown Celery. <laughs> it works, doesn't it? I, not really. Oh, damn. I really wish I would just, like, have one built up for you, so as soon as you would go back, just... Whoop, Hold on. Let's let's be careful here because you're right next to the one you dislike. <laughs> Gemma and Sarge do not get along very yeah, well. I have two cats who kind of just they go back and forth a lot. I will say I hate the fact that Donald is in the background over there and looks a little bit creepy. Which one? Back there in the, in the camera view in the camera and then it's like right there. <laughs> it's I didn't even I, see that. I looked up for I looked up for one second. I kind of looked right there. I'm like, what the. Oh, it's just Donald. I'm just like, that looks... See, I thought you were talking about the one where I was like, he looks happy over there. No, no, Except no. Except for the other two. Then no. Yeah, the other two are angry. One happy Donald, and the one back there is also angry. <sighs> doesn't have a small, so... Jamma. Jamma. <laughs> God damn it, cats. <laughs> she did it so stealthy too. She was just like, she's just like, and reaching for the tripod. Gonna, gonna take master stuff. Now that Dolby is a free elf. <laughs> hey, hey Gemma! Gemma! I swear to God, you're a freaking bastard. <laughs> Folks, this is why you do not get cats. Okay. But Nick, Nick. We are surrounded by pussy. Yeah, that's about the closest we get. Closest you get. Still haven't seen her. She's real. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> smells like the bitterest stalk of celery you can find. It's the one you leave in your fridge for like two weeks because you don't have a good ingredient, like a good, like a good meal for it, and you just leave it in there. Oh, it. shut up. It's a, a good ingredient for a good meal, so it's just like, you're just like, ah, okay, now now you either have to throw it away, or just put it in, like, chicken noodle soup, because there's no other option. Because mm. it's too bitter for even ants on a log. Right here for it. For science. For science. That's what Mythbusters were for. Mm, 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 nope. Mm-mm. It tastes like bad, like bad Sprite. It tastes like bad. It very... tastes like if you left a Sprite can in the hot sun for too damn long, and then you go to open it, and you're just like, Egh. yeah, yeah, that's about right. It also tastes kind of flat, like a, like a flat hot Sprite. Yeah, yeah, but it's cold. Yeah, <laughs> say yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. <sighs> I'm not thrilled for this one, but I, I'm not scared of it, at least. All right. <clears throat> Make sure y'all stop on by and go to Lester's Fixin' for some maple syrup. Maple syrup? Y'all get your fixins. That's what it says on there, I promise. Get your fixins on Route 66. 
Let's get your kicks on Route 66, the boy. I'm aware. I'm making a joke. Only joke you made is, oh wait, no, I can't say that's mean. <laughs> Holy shit. That smells like it. Sm smells like straight maple syrup. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many of these are actually going to finish. We'll find out by the end of the video. Bleh. <laughs> like I said, it it holds true. It makes me think. Oh, what does it remind me of? It's like a treat from childhood. It was like a candy or a those root beer barrels. Kind of, but that's not what I'm thinking of. I was like, crap. What were they called? It makes me think of like a cereal. There's like a cereal, like almost like 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 a more potent honeycomb or like something along those lines. I was going to say, well, it was honeycombs, the actual cereal itself. Well, yes, but there's something else that smelled a lot more like maple syrup, sugary sweet. There's another one in there. I just can't think of it right now. Not Honey Nut Cheerios. No, no, no. I know what Honey Nut Cheerios smells like. It smells like slightly sweet bland. It smells like cereal. Okay, time to avoid the inevitable. Let's get it done. It tastes like McDonald's maple syrup. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Or the maple syrup you'd get like back in grade school. That's what I was thinking of. Those grade school ones that you yeah. get some like for you know it's hey, this lunchtime, but it's breakfast for lunch today. So you get two pancakes and a little wimpy sausage. Or you got you got the French toast sticks. Oh, that's it. It's the French toast sticks. Oh crap. <laughs> that's what it is. That's uh. what it is. Holy hell. That wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't horrible. That, that's one of the more palpable ones. That's that's better. I would say, like, right now, which one's my favorite? I think the maple syrup one would be the better one, and then followed by butterbeer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to argue with that one. That's... What's, what's the worst one? I know my choice. What's your choice? I might have to probably say bacon. And then really? followed by celery. Really? Mm-hmm. I would go with sugar cookies as the worst. Oh, I figured you were going to go there. Yeah. Followed by, I think, dinosaur dookie. You mean dung? Ah, uh, close enough. <laughs> Means the same thing. All right. Keep them entertained. Keep, you going to wash mine, too? Okay, then. Salad treatment over here. We've only been married six weeks, come on! And you're gone for almost all of them! Yeah, just like my dad. Ah. You can't even say that, your dad's been in videos. I know. We appreciate him. Yes, we do. He's not my dad. We're not brothers. But some would say otherwise. Some would have asked if we are brothers. We are not. I'd be the better looking one. Debatable. Not even close. Not even close, motherfucker. Do you see this beautiful beard right here? That's not a beard, that's called bush. <laughs> oh, Sarge, please don't go that way. But you know what I'm not, though? I'm not bush light. <laughs> Do that one. Thank you. <laughs> eh? Sorry. I got the bush either. N no, I haven't drank bush in a while now, actually. Well, do you at least keep the hedges trimmed? Shut up. <laughs> I'm talking about the beer. Oh, I know. Because beer is tasty. But we're not here about beer. We're here about sodas. Or pops. Or sodi pops. I've heard that one before. By a real person. My uncle says it. There you go. We got another live person who knows it. His uncle. Well, he's also from Illinois. So. There you go, from Illinois. <laughs> That's where it's from. <laughs> I hope someone would say, I'm going to go get myself a sodi pops. And I'm like, 
What did you just call it? A soda pop. It's called soda. It's called pop. Mm-hmm. It's called just straight up pop. Pop. Pop goes the push. Pop. Oh, bitch. Alrighty, folks. Have yourself yeah. a holly jolly fucking Christmas. Candy not, cane soda. Not excited for this one either. I'm expecting there to be a a hint of Santa Claus, a gingerbread man, and then some reindeer fucking shit. We already tried the dung. Yeah, well, they missed this one. The dung's not done. Smells like rumple mint. <laughs> We're gonna be brushing our teeth today, folks. Hey. So carbonated rumple mints. I wonder if you can put that in a soda stream and get the same thing. No, because then you'd it would probably. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. The reaction would be. <clears throat> that's what I think would actually happen, but. Oh. <laughs> I told you. I oh, told you. Oh, oh, oh. I like Doc McGillicay's menthol, and this is a bit much. <sighs> Cheers to brushing our teeth. Hell yeah. I brush my teeth now. Yep. Santa Claus would be proud. Ah, it's so sweet. It's so damn sweet. Oops. <laughs> I forgot we got this one. Alright, folks. So, uh. if you've ever wanted to know what a kitty piddle tastes like, look no further. Because here you go. What is it again? Avery's It's So Disgusting Totally Gross Soda Kitty Piddle. Piddle. That's the word you look. Oh, I didn't hear. Like, and I guess you can't really say kitty piss on a bottle. Can you say it on YouTube? Yes, you can. Because it's not a swear word. Oh, what? Please don't tell me it smells like lemon. He's not telling me that means it probably does smell kind of like lemon. Either that or he's waiting to see what my true reaction will be. So he's give, tell me, tell, giving me it blind. Tell me, give me, tell me, give me. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Sweet. I don't smell anything. If anything, it smells like fake banana. I'm not fighting. I guess there's only one way to find out. True. For science. Fuck us. That tastes like lemon lime Gatorade that's been sitting out too long. Yes! That's exactly correct. Lemon lime Gatorade that has been sitting out for too long. Oh. Yep, that's exactly that flavor. It's the one in the vending machine nobody wants to pick. Yes. This is the one I'm actually excited about, because I've actually had this one before. Well, you got a little bit of spunk, you got a little bit of some more... Moxie. Moxie. Let's give it a... Let's give it a shot. I'll finish that bottle. Okay, you're alcoholic. Oh, shut up. I hope that catches on camera. <laughs> Sorry, are you okay, buddy? Oh shit! I see the bubbles coming up already. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Now this time we only lost the cap. I'm gonna bust the cap.
put the cap in that. Uh, Sounds like fucking Dr. Pepper. Doctor, doctor, give, give me, me the, the news. news. I've I got, got a bad, bad case of drinking love. this. Of drinking booze. Oh, there we go. Now we can't get copyrighted because we're not singing the song. We're doing a parody. Yep, a parody's nuts. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> Shut the hell up. You can't be mad at that one. I'm not, but I can still shake shut the hell up. Uh. Ow. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, well actually I think like an extra little bit of cherry hint to it. it. Tastes almost like cherry Dr. Pepper. I thought Dr. Pepper only had one flavor. No, they have cherry Dr. Pepper. They have cherry Coke. They mm. have cherry Pepsi. Mild cherry Pepsi, which is fantastic. Just don't use uh, Pepsi for a substitute of a rum and Coke. It's nasty. Mm, that's true. It's it's. And there is a difference, folks. Do not, I swear to God, say it. it's not. Pepsi is sweeter. Coke has more bite. <sighs> we have two more. Oh, we're not giving in a rinse this time? No, we only got two left. Okay. Oh yeah, we got we gotta do this one now. We gotta do this one. Well, for when you're getting probed, have yourself a Martian soda. No 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 no. Actually wasn't a bad one. God damn it. Nick. What? This isn't New Orleans. You can't keep losing your top like this. Well. You know what they say in Vegas? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It's a different city. Nick might actually like this one. It's so purple in the bottle, and then it comes out, it's actually very clear. It's a violet. Uh. <clears throat> oh, look. there it goes. Because <coughs> it take. Gracias. Yay, yeah, nada. Now with Zemo. We did it. You know, I don't think I ever have watched a full episode of Dora the Explorer. When we were growing up and there was nothing else to watch on TV, you just fucking watch it. Yep. That's not bad. That's actually good. That's what I was expecting. Purple grape. Oh. Yeah. Purple rain. Copyright. The piece de resistance. As you know, it's November, and if this is if you're in America, we're about to celebrate one of our big holidays, and we have found the perfect soda to accompany it. All right, for all you out there who love to fucking eat, but you do not want to feel that bloating feeling. I don't think this is going to help that. <laughs> Look no further than turkey and gravy soda. <coughs> it's Thanksgiving in a bottle. It's not going to help your calories. Actually, yes, it will, because there's zero calories in here somehow. Say what? Straight up. Just a but crap ton of sodium. I was going to say, at least 10% sodium, so be weary. 240 milligrams. What? I looked at the number. I thought you were going to take my top off. Oh, this is a twist off. Okay, okay. It's Doc Jones. <laughs> we work with him. Yeah, that's true.
Did you win something? Have you ever n noticed how everything has happened until now? <laughs> it's like one of those be It's like a fortune cookie. What the fuck? Like, what? Have you ever noticed how everything has happened until now? This is like... Be your best self on the other Jones one. Th this is like fortune cookies, or it makes me think of like those like... Things that are supposed to be deep on Facebook, like back in oh, 2013. Like those quotes and shit like that. Yeah, like those pseudo inspirational quotes, or like you know things. Hanging like, there, George, as a cat that's hanging off of the edge. Something like that, but it's just kind of like, no, shut up. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the the hypothetical person. Yeah, yeah. I'm. We are not excited for this one. <laughs> You do your thing, I do mine. Fuck. I'm actually dreading this one, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually fucking dreading this My one. My shirt and pants are now covered in cat hair already. Yeah. Tends to happen when you have cats. Hold on. Before... Fin finish the pour of mine, but then I think we should both grab one other soda that we can use to drink this away if we need it. So, where's the moxie? This is, looks like what might come up. Yeah. I'm bringing the moxie over for me, just in case. Get a big old whiff, buddy. <gasps> Oy, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, this is... This this is a no. This is a no already. <laughs> That's why I said this might be what comes out. Uh, <laughs> I don't wanna. Uh. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get it down the moment it hits the back. Mm. So how's it was it been, John? Uh, it's been chilly. Yeah. But it's supposed to get a bit warmer. Yeah, I heard 60s. Yeah, I did too. We are both dreading this. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> I was wondering, do we need a trip? Oh, come on. There we go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> do we, should we go get the trash can? I, fuck. All right, ladies and gentlemen. To our deaths. <laughs> To turkey and gravy. Happy birthday, America. Fuck you, pilgrims. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, dear gods, no. <laughs> uh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh. Oh no, that was not good. It's not sitting right. It's <laughs> not sitting right. No, oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I say no, no, no. I don't lie. <laughs> that was, Mommy. That was bad. That was very, very bad. Oh. What? The I can actually like feel a tear out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is this is one of the most unpleasant experiences that I've willingly done myself. Oh joy! Oh, Sarge, fuck you, kid. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, don't burp! Do not burp! Do not burp! For the love of God, do not burp! That was ugh. that was bad. Oh, I need more moxie. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was... Oh, <coughs> uh, now it's really hitting the stomach bad. <laughs> oh, like...
like negative a million. <laughs> is that is that a number I can choose? Yes. For this one, yes. Negative a million. That was. I'm gonna go to infinity and fucking beyond. There you go. We. Okay. Do we do we want to make a ranking of them? Like we could each make our own personal one. I guess I'll go first. Oh. <laughs> uh, hold on. You only have three minutes left. You want to pause and then. I should be able to make it work. Okay. Psych! We'll see you in a little bit, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to John Eating Chips. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> you want the ASMR, baby? Okay, now that we didn't die from that, because that was horrendous beyond horrendous. Like, it's actually like I got my nose and shit running because it's so disgusting. Yeah, that's <clears throat> that was bad. <clears throat> So goddamn awful. So I think number one for me. Was the Martian soda. Since it's focusing on John so damn much. I'll do <clears throat> a little slide by at the end here guys. Just kind of show you each label. Because they are kind of cool. Oh yeah. Some are. Some are just like. Eh. They're in I think most of them are pretty inventive. Like. One one I think that isn't very inventive is like Moxie, because it's just a guy with a soda. Yeah. Number two, I'd have to give it to uh, Butterscotch Beer. Yeah. I see why you said don't burp. I told you, don't burp. <clears throat> That's the worst thing you can do. That's fucking nasty. I think number three is Kitty Piddle. Number four, I'm going to go with Candy Cane Soda, because I can actually handle that. Oh, disgusting. Next one's going to be Maple Syrup. I'm already a little disappointed you didn't put Moxie any higher. After that will come the Moxie. Next will be sugar cookie. Whoa. Next, I'll say dinosaur dung. Then celery. I have a cat's tail over here. Meow. Bacon. And then Satan's little fucking chew toy. <laughs> Turkey. Okay, I'm gonna wipe these off while it's yeah, too sticky. You know, that's at least respectable. That's definitely not my same levels, but that's... I mean, I agree with some of them, like, you know. I'll show in a minute, because I think I'm doing mine next. Yep, rank them up. Okay, scoot to your right a little bit. Just a little. They're all centered towards you. Fine. Don't move. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh. Little visitor. I can't see behind the pop bottles. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was. And uh, this is a. Uh, this is Sarge. Reporting for duty. Buddy, I love you, my little fat boy. Buzz Lightyear was a captain, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Parts of seeing as a cat, just <laughs> meow. Bye, Sarge. He's like enough of that shit. Okay, man. Which one of these? Um. Okay. First one is gonna be Moxie for me. Yeah. that one coming. Oh, well, fair enough. Second place. Actually, I'm going to go with Martian Soda. Third place will be the Maple Syrup. Um, I'll go fourth is Butterscotch. Fifth will be the Kitty Piddle. It's such a fucking thing. <laughs> Kitty Piddle. <laughs> Always ask for Avery's. Totally gross out soda. Um, 
Cool. I'll go with... Actually, I'll go with Bacon next. Really? I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it wasn't good, but I can't say it was better than the sugar cookie. Oh, I can't say it was worse than the sugar cookie. I was going to say, you mean worse? <laughs> we are there on some interesting birds. Yes, we are. Next, I'd go with Candy Cane. Then, actually, next, I go with the celery. You are fucked. You shut up. <laughs> you are fucked. Um. Then, I would go with the dinosaur dung, sugar cookie, and then Satan's anus. So, just to reiterate, Moxie, the Martian soda, the plum one, or whatever it is. Maple syrup, butterscotch, kitty piddle, bacon, the candy cane, celery, dinosaur dung, sugar cookie, and then turkey and ass. Ugh. Oh boy, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be scarring. Yep. All right, so <clears throat> like I said, I'm gonna do a little quick little flyby here, show you guys kind of what labels look like, so that way, if for some reason you are like us and want to do some science of your own. You're more than welcome to. All right, come over here, my friends. Little fool. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh shush! I brush my teeth daily. Annually? Daily. Oh. Twice. All right. So here's the. So it's kind of funny. You end up the Joneses right next to each other. <laughs> Actually, I did not think about that at all when I was placing it. But you know what? Credit to them. They made flavors that are absolute crap. Yep. So, turkey dinner. There you go. Gobble, gobble, it. Yeah, that's usually what they sound like. Mm-hmm. Right here is our Jones sugar cookie. If the camera actually would like to focus for once. There we go. Okay. Next one is... Oh, dinosaur good. dung. Good, you... the lighting's changing. Hold on. Just to get the name a little better. And you got Dr. Brown celery. St. Nick's candy cane soda. Bacon. W.T. Heck? What the heck? Gotcha. In all aspects, bacon is usually good. Here, it does not belong. It's not good. Here's our kitty piddle. Look at that cat. <laughs> There's a lot of that downstairs. Yes, yes, there is. And there's our butterscotch. Maple syrup. Bring this one over front. Mm -hmm. The Martian soda. And then the one that John almost spills. Not true. Moxie! You got some Moxie for that one, kid. Thanks, Pa! And so with that, guys, this one is done. Holy crap. We're gonna zoom out. <laughs> your head is so big. Well, it typically is, too, just like yours, uh, but... No, you're actually, you're right. I'm not even gonna argue that one. I also have a big-ass head. We got big noggins. Yes, we do. So, make sure you guys go check out our other videos for brewery reviews and all that fun stuff. And hey, there's even a couple of, you know, antique stores and flea markets and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going to be posting some uh, Disney after this video comes out, probably, because i got to do some editing with that one, because it's a lot, so... Oh yeah, how much, how much footage did you get down there? You haven't told me yet. <laughs> to be soon figured out. And then I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the bell for notifications. We've been away for a little bit, so I'll help you keep up with when we post videos. We'll be doing a lot more now that I'm back, and until then, guys, stay awesome. Tubular, dude. <laughs> Fucking stoner over here. <laughs> you didn't press that.